In this lecture, we are going to find addition of main diagonal elements of any given matrix. We have 5 by 5 as a square matrix in this case. So in case of square matrix, wherever row number is equal to column number, all such elements form main diagonal elements. So in case of 5 by 5 matrix that we have over here, these are all 5 main diagonal elements. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4 are all diagonal elements. So in the program, we need to add all the values present in this diagonal element. So in the logic, I'm asking user to enter value of M because in case of calculating main diagonal elements, the matrix has to be a square matrix. Hence M and N cannot be separate values. So these values must match. So square matrix is a matrix where number of rows and number of columns are equal. So three by three is a square matrix. However, four by three is not a square matrix. So because row numbers and column numbers are same, I'm accepting single number that is M and the same variable M can be used while looping our iterations for rows and columns. So here are our loops. Notice that we have M in both the loops. So after accepting value of M, I'm writing my for loops for accepting array elements. So all the array elements will be stored at U of IJ. And after that, we are going to iterate through the matrix with same rows and columns. And inside of my second loop for columns, I'm writing a condition if I is equal to is equal to J, that is if my row number is equal to equal to my column number, then we are going to add that number into some variable. Notice that sum is initialized to zero at the top. If it is not initialized to zero, it will contain a garbage value and our program will give us incorrect result. And once all elements are iterated using our for loops, then at the end of the loop, I'm printing sum of diagonal elements is percent D and value of sum will be printed over here. 